Hey guys, we're going to part 13 of the Malice Mode playthrough series. Today we'll be trying to take on Duke Fishron and uh, I guess Astrum Deuce. Uh, or Dias, I don't know what his name is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, both these bosses I have attempted. Very hard bosses. So I'm going to go for Duke Fishron first. Hopefully I can get the wings. I think it's probably a 100% drop, drop chance because it's about Malice Mode and usually Malice Mode drops 100% of the items. But uh, right now I'm getting the Rod of Discord just to make the fight a little easier. And uh, also, I just want to say thank you guys for being like super supportive lately. Y'all have been insane. Uh, words really can't describe how I feel about this because I kind of suck at talking like this. But like, guys, you guys are amazing. You guys have been like making me excited to make these videos for y'all. Just all the kind words. It's crazy. Um, I really just can't thank you enough. But that being said, we just got the rod of discord. Um, let's move on now. The most YouTuber nightmare just happened. I literally just killed Duke Fishron and I realized that I wasn't recording. Oh, I am in so much pain. I am past 60 attempts on this boss. Uh, this boss is extremely hard, guys. Uh, everybody in all the other YouTube comments said it's like impossible. I was like, it may be impossible, but I actually did it. I am in so much pain, and I realized that I wasn't recording. So I know y'all are not going to believe that I did it legitimately, so I'm going to go do it again. But if I do it again, I am keeping this treasure bag, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy the fight. Oh, this was so painful. Yes, okay, we did it again. All right, that boss is extremely hard. If you do not have adrenaline by um, the final phase, you are not winning that fight. Even though the first time I did win the fight without adrenaline, but I just got really lucky. Um, he eventually does infinite dashes. So I am keeping that treasure bag. I'm sorry if you think I'm cheating, but that fight is literally almost impossible. It takes a lot of luck, and I did not get the wings. Okay, well, here's the thing, guys. Um... I don't want to waste another 60 attempts on that fight, so I'm just going to go spawn the wings in. I hate cheating like this, but like literally guys, I, I have spent 60 attempts on this boss, like over three hours of just grinding this one boss. I am sorry. Most people said it's impossible. I can clarify. It is not impossible. It's just very hard. Also, I switched the rogue armor and a uh, rogue weapon for that fight because the, uh, what's this weapon called? The epidemic shredder is really good for the fight. And the rogue armor actually makes you faster. So if you are struggling with that boss, that's what I recommend using. Anyway, so I'm going to go spawn in this item. And then, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my fish arm wings to quick. There we go. And I guess now uh, I don't really have anything else to do. I'm going to switch over to ranger weapons again because my sea searing is really good against Astrum Deuce. And then I guess we're just going to grind Astrum Deus because... Um, yeah, that's kind of all we have left to do. Come on, come on. I'm choking, I'm choking. No, no, oh, dang it, he's so fast. Come on, dodge, 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 dodge. Come on, all right, we were so close. That's all right though, I think we're about to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, and please enjoy the Astrum Deuce fight.
Yes, we did it. Okay, that, that actually wasn't too bad. I think it took me like 20 attempts or something. Not as bad as Duke Fisheron, so I will give it that. So it looks like we have all the fragments. So that is a good find. Oh, we got the conference call. This weapon's amazing. Oh, we're definitely using this against Moon Lord and Lunatic Cultist in the next video. Um, okay. Uh, let me find room to pick up these fragments and then, yeah, I'll open up the treasure bag. Okay, so what do we get? Uh, not, not anything good. <laughs> What's the ash this? Uh, oh, it's just like the sea searing, but I, I doubt that's as good as the conference call. I remember the conference call being amazing. Uh, so I'm definitely using that in the next boss fight, so, yeah. Oh, we got a Keensar too? Oh, this thing's actually kind of cool. It's like the, um, what's that weapon called? The Crystalline Upgrade? Uh, it's like that, except I, I'm, it's not as good once you upgrade the Crystalline to an extreme amount. Um, so yeah, those are all the weapons that we got, but I'm specifically sticking with the Conference Call, because y'all haven't seen exactly what it is. It looks like decent right now. Here, let me reforge it to Unreal real quick. It looks decent right now, but like when it hits stuff, you'll understand that it's like a beast of a weapon. So, <laughs> I guess I'll just reforge this too, why not? Anyways guys, that's about all I have time for in this video today. The next video we'll be taking out Lunatic, Cultus, and the Moon Lord, and on Christmas. So stay tuned for that one. You guys are going to get to sit back on Christmas, relax, and enjoy me beating the second part of, I guess, hard mode. Me beating hard mode. And then after that, we are in the end game, baby. But uh, yeah, that's about all I have time. Uh, I'm going to say one more time, just thank you guys so much for all the support that you've been giving me. And uh, next episode, we are also going to get the ore that is underneath the astro biome and yeah just thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye